So earlier in the show, you were telling us that you were shooting in, you know, in, in white light, but you were also incorporating some infrared into that. Talk to me about, first of all, how did you even, how, what does that even mean? Incorporate infrared light into the, into the imagery. And what does that, how does that change the look of the shot? Sure. So we were shooting um, using white light, as you normally do. Um, but because we're battling for every photon of light and trying to get absolute maximum exposure, we're also shooting into the infrared part of the spectrum, the invisible part, which our eye can't see. Um, and this isn't us um, shoot um, using an infrared light, which you might have seen before, has that kind of green look. There's naturally occurring infrared light in the atmosphere. So we're we're shooting all the white light and then stealing a bit of infrared as well. Um, and we're just getting that extra kind of maybe one stop of light it would give us. Um, and so the reward is an extra stop. Um, so we get a bit slightly better exposure. And the the, um, the downside is that it skews the entire image pink. So a lot of the rushes came back looking kind of ready, pinky, and they had this slightly unsettling kind of, God, is this going to look a bit weird, this whole series? Yeah. Um, and so what we would do is we'd get that image and then we would um, essentially strip the pink um, hue off it. So we would dial the pink back. And beneath the kind of that pink um, veneer were all these beautiful, naturally occurring nocturnal colours. So there were the blues, there were the oranges, there were the, you know, there were weirdly green was the one colour which really got hammered by, I guess that makes sense, it being red. But beneath that kind of red um, top layer were all these beautiful, naturally occurring colours. So we got the advantage of having a little bit more exposure um, and very easily just in, in the grey, we could whip, the, whip that kind of pink hue off and reveal all these naturally occurring colours, um, which was the kind of the, the way that we rebalanced the shot. Um, and then, you know, one of the biggest challenges was, uh, and when we started showing the first, um, first versions of these shows um, to our commissioning team was, well, it looks like daylight. Um, and... and they were kind of, you know, some, and it, it, there was so much variation. I think, you know, the, the night in Australia kind of seemed to look different from the night in Africa, which seemed to look different from the night in Patagonia. And, and I don't know what, I still, we're still figuring out why that was. And, you know, we were moving at such speed, but, you know, for example, we did one shoot in, in um, um, Kenya and we were trying to work out why the exposure wasn't so great. And we realized actually it was burning season. So they there were a lot of fields being burnt. So there were all these soot particulates in the air, which just were dropping our, dropping our exposure level just a fraction. Um, so, yes, one, one of the problems was it, it could, when you really dial everything up to the max, it could look like daytime. And then it feels like you're watching a daytime show, but not a particularly attractive one. So we had to find that right balance where we were being, I guess, kind of um, true to the, to the colours of night, but also... Um, trying to emerge and we had we went through a lot of different um attempts and some were very dark and sinister uh and then some were um way too you know there's there's the information there to really dial it up and make it look almost like daytime um so we kind of settled on um a look which we felt was pretty balanced which was kind of right in the middle and it felt like it it it, it is the night in color and it is kind of the closest thing i think we felt that our that our, our, our eyes were seeing in the field and yeah it felt like a um, well, I, I, it felt like a, the right look for us, but it took many, many, many months of tinkering to kind of get it there. And, and we, we figured that out in the Lions episode. And then once we had that look, we could kind of roll it out for the, for the whole series. Mm -hmm.